so in this video we're trying to plot um um our stress strain curve so we'll be doing that in in excel obviously so given the data we are trying to draw our if you know very well okay we have stress here okay stress here and we should have strain here so these units are just assume they are some very good units i don't even know also this one assume there are some very good units that i like working with so we're trying to achieve that curve right it should, it should look like something like this so if you are in engineering so i think you have seen this type of graphs so what is strain strain is the change in the the length or whatever geometry that is under is subjected to stress for instance if this beam was this much and then there is a force here and the force here and then it's become very small so this let me just say this change in length that's what we're referring to when you're talking about strain so on this scenario or data from the experiment if you notice overall we started with um a beam this is let me say 50 uh doesn't make sense but it's okay let me just say 50 meters for simplicity 50 meters and then it was subjected to some forces and then as it was subject to some forces it started uh enlonging so by now we should guess that maybe this beam was under tension because it actually increased its length so i'm not trying to make uh, an engineering or, or strength class here i'm trying to make sure that we understand how to use excel or fish that the purpose of the video so let's get it started so you know very well to start so i should give you remember the experiment that we have well, let me say we have some um some sort of uh some material that is is pulled by two machines here to check to do this experiment that's how we obtain this data so we should have some sort of a geometry cross section area of the of the machine let me say what if we have area and i love to call that area um 67 units i don't like putting um things like i don't like putting actual units because they might cause some confusion so let's just say 67 whatever unit is because the purpose is not engineering here the purpose is what okay purpose is excel so what the, our first step we want to do stress what is stress you know from your engineering not the one that you are having right now stress should be r here is equal to force all over area so what is our force okay remember we're trying to work with um formulas what is our force this is our force right divided by what is our area this is our area but remember this area we don't want this area to change that's where on the other video you should go then check we did talk about something called absolute referencing if the, i still that's my good oh that's a good vocabulary i'm not too sure so if we zoom in very well here if you may try to understand what i was doing there uh, okay what have i done so if you let me remove that remember using this formula force we're getting force here area we're getting area from this one and remember this area is a constant so you don't need to change that's why i use well, if you go back here that's why i said dollar sign dollar sign f for f for what for column right and then dollar sign again for row of which i think it's four 
so this thing actually make this number a constant hold it not to change there is absolute and relative referencing i have a video about that if you're still struggling with excel so then after getting a formula we have a good number there then we can do this thing for all of them right force whatever force that is there all over area so after dragging you can check here we're still having the same formula out but this thing is not specifically this one is not changing still referencing to the cell but this is still referencing to this one now if i go here if i enter here this now is referencing to the corresponding cell but also this one is not changing okay that's a very good start so we did say after stress then you should have strain right strain so i love uh decorating my thingy making it black it just look good at least to my eyes okay that's a nice one so good so this is it we already have our stress now we want our strain okay so let's go back and what is a form what is strain strain is a change all over the initial length or whatever geometry so if i have to write in a form of a formula it's going to be strain is equals to um change in length all over length so if you remember where you started our beam initially it was 50 units i'm not interested in what units it is 50 units so the change in the first one if there is no force uh that is subjected to the or no load into our beam so there is literally no change so we're going to say um length or uh, initial minus sorry uh, let me not length length final minus length initial all over length that it was which let me let me say yeah let me say whatever length it was okay cool let's try to use these formulas here so what we have we have length final it is the length that it is now so that length is what is um okay let's use the formulas click here this length that it was new length minus i mean the minus i mean minus the new length of which is also the same thing for the first one then we are going to say divide okay it's recommendable to use brackets here so that the computer won't get um okay i don't know what have i done there okay um okay cool so we're trying to divide that um divided by we said by the initial length of which in this case is still this one but remember this one is not changing right okay um i hope i didn't make any mistakes so i have to hold this one but if i didn't mistake i think you will learn from it okay obviously we ex ex expecting that if if there is no load subjected there shouldn't be any strain let's see as as we move down what is happening okay we're getting zeros let me go troubleshoot what's the problem so uh let me just say what why i made i end up having a lot of these zeros so as i move down you can notice that the the c the c5 is not changing but let me see what is going on here c5 is not changing but this one is changing simultaneously c7 and c the other one so this one is this one was not supposed to change because we're trying to take it take a difference with the initial initial length so let's come here let's hold um final initial so we're holding everything holding that and we're holding you you're not supposed to change so let's see now if are we getting any better result i hope so for zero that's a good number let's see if we check for all of them 
Yes, now we're getting something. Okay, that's a good number. If I recalculate, I was going to check. But if you do, you could just check if I'm correct from the formulas. Let's just check specifically for the last one. So it's going to be um, the initial or the final of which is 3, 3, 2, 0, minus 50, all over um, 50. So from here, you can get your answer plug. So likely we're getting the correct answer. So from then we can deduct that, okay, then everything here is fine. Also, if you want to play around things like your decimal places, maybe to be precise, but if you go there, you see you're only getting zeros, which is nothing interesting. But for purposes, this is where you get your decimal, if you want to change your decimals. So, okay, let's try to move on. At least now we have two um, parameters that we are trying to plot, of which uh, y and x y and x so at least we know where we're going so remember this is supposed to be a y and supposed to be a x and it's supposed to get a graph like this if you can google strain stress curves they kind of look like that so let's try one more time also please note that if i come here and change some number let me say make it 88 all the stresses that because they depend on remember what is stress stress oh so saying that all the stress depend on area so as much as if i can change this area i'm obviously going to change all the stresses here so you can see that if there was a slider, I could just put a slider to show you. Let me see, that's 55. All the numbers are changing. So I'll leave it there because we don't really trying to achieve anything. Okay, with that, now we have the data. We can actually plot our strain stress curve. 